Tomatoes are one of the favorite crops in America, but this video is not about uh, growing tomatoes. As a matter of fact, it is about the grow system. AeroGarden is and continues to be one of the most popular uh, desktop or countertop gardening systems. And this is one of the older models. I had a, an AeroGarden Extra and an AeroGarden Ultra. And these tomatoes have been in for 80 days. Now, what has happened is the light hood that was on the base unit burned out. It was LED 30 watts. And this hood came from the other garden and it had compact fluorescence in it. The expense of the compact fluorescence was getting to be more than I wanted to pay because they need replaced about every uh, 7 to uh, 12 months. So what I did was looked at alternative bulbs. The bulbs that you see are LED. And what I did was uh, went to Amazon and looked up companies such as Relassi. And uh, there was another one that had unbranded but uh, 17 watt LED lights with a standard uh, base for screwing into a light fixture. Amazon also had the adapter because the CFL bulbs had pins that pushed into this particular hood. So what this adapter does is it pushes into the uh, hood and then the uh, screw base uh, screws into it. Now I found with the uh, length of these LED lights it worked better to screw the base onto the LED light before pushing it into the hood. So I have a total of uh, three 17 watt lights. So about 51 watts of uh, LED light over the top of these plants. Appears to be uh, doing quite well in terms of driving growth. Now these are AeroGarden variety. It's called Red Heirloom and it is not a dwarf, but it is a micro dwarf uh, variety of tomato plant. Now, I'm also growing these in a standard 40 watt air garden, and there is a difference that I'm noticing um, between this uh, cobbled together system that I built versus the uh, oh, straight from the box air garden model that's currently for sale. I am seeing flowering, and uh, these blossoms and the strong growth as well as healthy uh, green leaves and sturdy branches seems to indicate that the uh, lights are doing quite a nice job. As a matter of fact, I'm starting to see uh, baby green tomatoes forming on the plant as well. And I'm happy with the uh, results. One thing that I have noticed though is what is called the uh, leaf inner node or the distance um, between leaf branches as the primary stem goes up is longer than what it is with the same variety of tomato in a standard arrow garden. That would indicate to me a possibility, and this is my hypothesis, that the uh, lights are producing a very warm spectrum and with the strong presence of red uh, LED lighting, even though it's a white LED light, and maybe a little low on the uh, blue spectrum, that the plants are getting a little bit more lanky than what they would in a normal arrow garden. Blue light tends to help keep the plants a little bit more compact, and on the newer arrow gardens, you're going to find that the uh, light cast is not this pleasant, warm uh, light. It's actually a little bit uh, purple looking from the amount of uh, additional uh, spectrum put into their bulbs. The inner node spacing is also noticeable on a basil plant that's growing in the front of this particular garden. So normally you'd like to have your basil plants, your herbs, with very tight inner node spacing and dense leaves. 
even though the uh, plant height is about twice as tall as what would be seen in an arrow garden that uh, comes directly from the factory it does uh, tend to uh, drive growth uh, quite nicely from the uh, lights that i put into the hood above these particular plants now one of the things to keep in mind would be that some plants actually benefit uh, from a light that has minimal blue and maybe a little bit more red to it uh, those would be your lettuce plants and with this particular setup one of the nice things that uh, i have is i can do multiple tests and putting a uh, set of perhaps romaine lettuce plants into it will be the next thing that i'll end up doing just to compare and find out with lettuce will it actually grow lettuce uh, more quickly than what a standard arrow garden does